Hey guys, this is Wolf Phone Repairs back with another laptop screen repair for repairing a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 um, 15IIL05. So, again, take off the bottom, always remove, disconnect the battery, and remember to use a plastic pry tool to do so. Google it out there like that. Make sure there's no power going through the system. Okay, once that is done, you can use your pry tool and gently pry the bezel off. Go around this, this one feels like it has some adhesive we'll just release the clips A lot of times there's these bracket hinge covers that just need to be released from the back side here. Just pop the clips. So let's you release the bezel, put that aside. Now here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's little red tabs here. You can see the adhesive behind the screen. Let me try and pull those out. Oh, sorry, they're actually at the top here. Tabs are at the top on this one. Pull it from the top this time. So you can see, just pull it straight out. They are very stretchy. Kind of satisfying, honestly, to take off. I'm more and more seeing the adhesive on LCD screens rather than the brackets. Helps keep things smaller and tighter for design purposes, I think. Okay, I'm gonna flip the screen down and we're gonna pop this. There's a little clip here. See the little clip? Uh, you can see that. Clip, bracket, open it. Remove the cable, take the old LCD out, that's garbage, recycle it, take out the useful components, the backlight and such, to make things out of it. We are going to reattach the new LCD.
Now we can reconnect the battery and test it. I always recommend doing that just in case. There you go, it's working. Although Lenovo is probably backwards for you. Okay, good, fantastic. Now, I'm just going to flip the screen down, which is fine we're to do while it's still on, we're not doing anything. <coughs> Case of tape, I find it very strong. I usually do two strips just to give it some extra staying power. Peel the backing off and we'll flip it up into place. Obviously, you want to make sure it's aligned. Before you stick it down. Just gently press the sides, gently, I stress gently, so you don't crack it. Take off the protective cover, which is also very satisfying. And then we're going to put the bezel back on. Hinge should still be loose enough. The hinge cover, I mean, should still be loose enough to get one side. this again. At some point it got reconnected. Okay. Again, carefully snap the bezel back into place. And there you go. All snapped together. Make sure you reconnect the hinge cover. It's not connected again. And 
I'll make sure obviously the battery's still connected. And then you put the base cover, the bottom cover back on. Back in. Make sure all the snaps click in so that everything is flush. And that's it. There you go. That's done.